everybody, my name is Nicole and I'm the owner of Willow Mint Props. If you're not familiar with my brand, you can check me out on all your favorite social media platforms and you can check out my website, willowmintprops.com. So I recently moved into a new house and I can't wait to decorate. I've been looking on Pinterest to get some ideas and I finally have been inspired and today we're gonna be making pillows, decorative pillows. So as you know, we're making a decorative pillow today and I'm actually making it for my day bed behind me, which is pretty bare. And um, I designed all of these fabrics that you see here. I designed my fabrics and I sell them through spoonflower.com. And I think I wanna go in theme with my workroom. So I'm gonna be choosing this one, which has my logo all over it. All right, so today's supplies that you're gonna need for our tutorial is gonna be pins. If you would like to pin your pillow, some people do, I don't, but if you need to keep your fabrics together, you're more than welcome to use pins. Um, I'm gonna be using this fabric, which is my Willow Mint Props fabric that I designed through Spoonflower. And we also have a contrasting uh, fabric for the back, so it's just solid. And um, you're going to need um, polyfill, which I will put the link below in the about section so you can know where to get uh, polyfill for your pillow. You're going to need a matching thread um, and you're going to need a rotary blade and a ruler so that you can um, cut your pillow to the right size. But if you do not have a mat, a rotary blade and a ruler to cut your pillow, you can always measure your pillow and use standard scissors to cut the shape out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut out our fabric for our pillow. I decided that I'm gonna make my pillow 16 by 16. So I'm gonna go ahead and count all the way out to 16, which is you know very easy because my mat pretty much um, has a ruler on it. And so once I have the measurement, um, and the great part about this clear ruler is that the numbers are here, I'll know where to stop. So I'll be stopping right there. So I'm gonna use my rotary cutter, and I'm gonna cut all the way down to the 16 mark, make sure that it's separate, yep. And I'm gonna go ahead and go this way, line it up. And now I'm going to cut. And so now I have my piece for my pillow. And so this is gonna be the front of my pillow. And I already went ahead and cut out the back of my pillow. So both of them are 16 by 16. And we're gonna move on to the next step, which is sewing the pieces together. Okay, so we're gonna be finally putting our pillow together. Um, you wanna make sure that the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. So the right side of this fabric, which is the print, and the right side of this face each other and this fabric that I have is a directional fabric. What that means is that obviously uh, the words are facing a certain way. So we have a certain direction that we have to place the pillow in order for it to you know, look nice on the bed. So I want my hole for my pillow to be on the bottom of my pillow so that when I put my pillow on my bed, you won't notice the stitching where I close the hole up. So this is the bottom of my pillow. You can see that the writing is upside down. 
I'm gonna line up my pillow. If you're not comfortable with just going ahead and sewing, you can pin your pillow together so that um, the fabric stay together nicely. I'm just gonna go ahead and sew and I'm just lining this up and we're going to get started, not quite at the end. We're gonna start maybe three fourths of the way um, on the pillow and we'll start sewing. Please make sure to sew your pillow um, a half an inch in, or actually a quarter of an inch in, sorry. And make sure that you uh, reverse your stitch so that you can secure it in place. So if you're not a pin user like me, just make sure to line up your fabric as you go. And line up your the edge of your fabric with the edge of the sewing foot. Now you might be looking at it and saying, wait a minute, you're going off, but I actually can feel the fabric underneath is a little bit shorter. Sometimes that happens where your fabric might be a little bit longer or it might shift a little. So what I'm doing is I'm feeling the fabric and I'm sewing as I go. So I have come to the edge that I started at and I'm going to leave a little hole right here so that I can stuff my pillow. So I'm gonna reverse my stitch and then come back again so I can lock my stitch in and I will go ahead and show you how to stuff your pillow. All right guys, so now that our pillow is sewn, um, the next step is that we need to trim the corners of our pillow. The reason why we trim the corners of our pillow is so that when we turn it right side out, it makes the corners easy to turn um, right side out without it having this fabric in the corner pucker. So um, the corner of our stitch is right here. You're not gonna obviously cut too close to it or else you're gonna poke a hole into your pillow. So you're going to just cut the very corner off. My stitch is here. We're just cutting off a little bit of that corner, not too much. And so you look for where your stitch is. That's the corner right there. And I'm just cutting off a little bit of that corner and do that to each corner. Be aware of where your stitch is and cut off the corner of, of your pillow. And, all right, let's find that opening. And now we're gonna turn it right side out. Now, a tool, a helpful tool for when you are making a pillow to make uh, the corners uh, poke out very easily 
Um, whenever you buy your polyfill, they usually have one of these sticks inside of there with the polyfill bag. And it's obviously to help you, um, you know, poke the stuffing into your pillow. So you can use it to poke the hole, the corners of your pillow so that they um, come out nice and perfect. And so see, I'm just using the stick and I'm poking my pillow so that the corner comes out. And you can make sure to do that to each corner before we start stuffing it. Because you won't find your corners before that. So right here, one more. And here we go, this is our last corner. So now our pillow is on the right side. And as you can see, the corners look really nice because I used uh, that tool to poke my pillow out. Now let's get to stuffing. All right, you guys, I have stuffed my pillow. It's nice and full. And um, we're gonna go ahead and close it. So this is the opening. You can see that the fabric is folding over because naturally it wants to do that because that's what the seam did on the inside. So what we're gonna do is push our stuffing down a little bit so it makes it nice and easy to uh, pinch these parts together. And we're gonna go ahead and um, put this under the machine and we're gonna do a straight stitch right along the edge of the pillow to close it up. Now this part's gonna be kind of tricky because obviously this pillow is super squishy and um, it's gonna be hard to get it down here, but I am going to get it under there. And so I'm just gonna put this on I have my needle um, set to the left side so that it helps with how uh, full this pillow is. At least the, the stitching will go on uh, the edge of this pillow. So I move my needle over that way. So it helps because as I said, the pillow is super full and it's hard to get it fully under here. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and go straight back my stitch up to lock it in place and I'm going to make sure that this lines up and that it's folded equally all along and you're going to have to take your time and close this up and make sure that your pillow is lined up both fabrics are lined up um, nicely as you're sewing I can see that I've reached the end of my hole. And so now I'm gonna back it up. Now, as you can see, you see the pillow kind of sliding a little bit because it's it wants to fall out of the way of the machine, but you can hold on to the back of it too to kind of keep it in, in place if you need to. But I also need to use my finger to back up. So um, now I'm gonna go forward kind of lock that stitch in place and go back a little bit and that's it now it's locked in place and I can cut this and so voila you guys let me cut off the beginning part of this stitch here's my pillow and as I said that's why I put the stitch at the bottom just in case if it's a little just a touch uh, sloppy the stitch because of course it was really hard to keep it under the sewing machine that it's on the bottom of the pillow so no one will see it so this is what my pillow looks like guys I love how it came out and um, it matches my room and it has my logo on it I hope you guys enjoyed